All right, hey guys, welcome to WrestlingRumors.net Night of Champions Prediction Show with Sam Daly at Lady Nexus 13. And I am Adam uh, at Adam Daly 13. Guys, we're going to do a quick rundown. We don't have the full staff picks like we hope to have. Please go to WrestlingRumors.net for the entire staff picks on what is going to happen tonight at Night of Champions or slightly tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this, what time it is. Uh, all right, Sam, let's get on the card real quick. Uh, we will start with the pre show. Uh, Sam. Neville and the Lucha Dragons versus the comic, or the, the, yeah, the comic, the Cosmic Wasteland. Who do you have on that one? I'm going to go with, ooh, the Cosmic Wasteland and Stardust. Okay, so I like that you're idea. going with the Cos Cosmic Wasteland. I'm going with Cosmic Wasteland, too. Any reason? I like Stardust with the Ascension. I really want them to win. Um, okay. That's, uh, that's uh, I, honestly the real reason. Uh, I want to see the Ascension succeed. I think if there's any any truth to like the 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 maybe of Amel working at Hell in a Cell, maybe you you want to keep Stardust taught. but it's a pre-show too, so mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I'm just picking Star just start or the Stardust and the Ascension just because. <laughs> just because. Uh, just because a lot of these were coin flips. Um, New Day uh, versus D the Dudley Boys for the WWE Tag Team Championships. Uh, Sam, you have written down. Let me Dudley's by DQ. Dudley's by DQ simply so that New Day can hold on to the titles. And I have Dudley's... very heel way to win, obviously, with Nikki Bella. And I have Dudley's by countout. So we both basically have Dudley's winning, just not winning the championship. Um, Dolph Ziggler and Rusev. Uh, Sam, you have Rusev by pinfall after Lana interference. That is what's going to be published on WrestlingRumors.net. So defend your pick. Well, I never really wanted Lana to leave Rusev anyways. And with the rumors that going around that they might put Lana back with Rusev, I don't know. I just think it's a smart idea. And they should have never taken Lana off Rusev in the first place. So, of course, I'm going to go. Rusev gets it with the interference by Lana. Uh, I'm actually Plain going I'm going the opposite route. I actually think we have a double turn in this. I think Ziggler turns heel. I think <laughs> Ziggler and Summer Rae end up being an item after this. So, we both are going with far-fetched fantasy booking things. But, hey. It might happen. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I have Ziggler by pinfall, and I have a, a heel turn coming with that. So, uh, Sam, who? Let me see. Why it's uh, the Wyatt family versus Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and question mark. You have Ambrose range, Ra uh, Roman Reigns range. Range. Wow. range. Yeah, got a lot of range. Uh, <laughs> and Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and you have Chris Jericho as your third. Yes. Because, ladies and gentlemen, when you get married. Your spouse always picks out, takes everything from you. Remember that, because that, that that was my yeah, pick first. Um, but so I, I have Jericho as well. Um, it just makes sense with the Wyatt's being the one that put Jericho out from the la his last WWE run, and he's come out and said that he's gonna be doing something yeah. with WWE here coming up soon. So it just makes sense. And I, I, for me too, I think that, and you know what? In hindsight, after reading this now, I I still think the Wyatt family goes over, and it might set up something. I don't know. Now I'm gonna, but my pick originally was was Ambrose and Reigns and and Jericho. I'm gonna stick with that. I know I'm wrong on all of that, uh, but hey, I gotta go with my picks. So we got uh, Nikki Bella versus Charlotte uh, for the WWE Divas Championship. Mm -hmm. You have. Survey says Charlotte, Charlotte by submission. Yep. I have Nikki Bella by pinfall. Mm -hmm. Sam? I want to see Charlotte make Nikki Bella tap. Tap. Is it going to happen? I want it to happen. I think it's almost, it seems too obvious it now that it's to not going to happen. Too many people are going to be pissed off if it doesn't happen. That's why like, it doesn't really happen. you really want this whole Divas Revolution thing to blow up in their faces? No, because if it doesn't happen then it, it's done. People are done with this whole Divas Revolution thing. You want this to continue, and the only way for it to continue is for Charlotte to win that belt. Let me ask you way. a question. Let me ask you a question. So you're saying that if Nikki Bella is to win on Sunday, or retain, well, no, she, yeah, so she has to win. So you're saying if Nikki Bella wins, you're not going to take the Twitter and rant and go off and lose your shit about, about Nikki Bella winning, a, you know, keeping the championship. Yeah, but then I completely doubt that there's this whole, really, a Divas revolution going on. That's the point, though. We, regardless of it, and, and I think, let me ask you this, and this is where I think a lot of, the, you know, another reason why I think a lot of the heat on Nikki Bella is kind of unfair. I'll stop with this whole unfair heat on Nikki I'm Bella. I'm just shit. saying, I don't think that it mattered who ha who held the title at the time of AJ Lee leaving the company. I think they were breaking AJ Lee's record. I mean, again, no, that, that's not to knock Nikki Bella down by any stretch of the imagination, but I think it's just happenstance that she was in right place, right time scenario. It could have been anyone. It could have been Tamina in that spot. It could have been whomever. I mean, like I said, Maurice at one point was the longest reigning, so... 
Yeah, but they could have had Natalia do it or Paige do it. They had to pick Nikki Bella. Because it's working that way. Look how mad you're getting. Look how mad you are. Stop it. So, but the, do you see why it is going to keep working if Nikki Bella holds the championship? Yeah, but I don't think people are actually going to be interested in it if she continues to hold the championship after Night of Champions. You know who I truly feel the worst about for in this whole scenario is Alicia Fox? Because actually, Alicia Fox to Alicia me... Alicia Fox, I've always loved Alicia Fox. ...is such an amazing athlete and she's so good in the ring. Those legs she has. Oh my God. You said it, not me. Legs. I'm glad that I don't have to say it. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I think that... I really think that she's the best wrestler on Team Bella. Mm-hmm. Um, or, she you know, is. The Bella That's Army. Just so, uh, Foxy, we're with you. Team Foxy. I don't know um, why Foxy's even with Team Bella. To but, be yeah. Um, sorry, guys, but I do. I think Nikki is keeping the belt. But you're going. You're going. We have a new Divas I'm champ. Charlotte. Um, Ryback, Kevin Owens, Intercontinental Championship back. You have Ryback by disqualification. Uh, I have Ryback by pinfall. Yeah, I have a feeling that Kevin Owens is going to be Kevin Owens and just go completely insane on Ryback and somehow get himself disqualified and not care and just continue to beat the crap out of Ryback. This is a feud, and, and you know, you guys know that, you know, from the fan, and the guys, obviously, if you're first time, ho- hopefully you're not first time viewers for something like this, but if you're first time viewers, we're talking characters, not the real people. Uh, I'm not a Ryback fan, but this is, you know, an Owens Ryback feud makes me interested in Ryback. Mm-hmm. It does, you know. Um,. I don't think Owens gets the title, though. And no. I know everyone's going to, you know, I don't think anybody is going to see that. And um, rematch. No, I mean, I would love to see Owens with oh, the Intercontinental title, it. but I don't think it's going to happen. Isn't it funny, though? And, and this is, listen, everybody, you know, it's everybody got, gets so worked up about, you know, Kevin Owens is going to get buried and this and that and the other thing. He got elevated to the Intercontinental Championship, you know. Yeah, um, and whether he wins or loses, he gets elevated. <laughs> Uh, and that's where that's what makes me laugh about wrestling fans, and uh, you know my, ourselves included, because uh, we get we get so quick to to jump. Um, but so we're both saying that Ryback retains rematch at Hell in a Cell. What do you think? Definitely, I agree with that too. Um, now the two big matches tonight, real quick, we wanted to address something. The beard is getting absolutely insane. I I, I made mention of it of it being a Rollins beard. Here's the deal, guys. I made a bet with Ryan Taylor, uh, a viewer of ours. Uh, he's in our wrestling rumors dot that fantasy league. Uh, I made a bet that he says that his prediction is that Seth Rollins is going to win three matches on Sunday. He he's, doesn't even have three matches on Sunday. If Sheamus okay, attempts so, to cash in, okay. If Sheamus attempts to cash in, like now here. So here's the bet. Uh, if that happens, if Seth Rollins walks out, wins three matches, retains both both titles in the process, obviously. I'm not shaving until Seth Rollins drops both titles. So uh, I might be eating my words about that whole, I hope he's Mr. 435, because that could really come back to bite me in the backside. So I'm not saying those are my predictions, but if Seth Rollins for some reason gets through John Cena, gets through Sting, and gets through a cashing in Sheamus, then this beard is to stay until Seth Rollins no longer has some sort of gold around his, uh, around his waist. That could be interesting. So here comes Amish He's Daly. Be pretty hairy, here I comes think. Amish Daly. So uh, Seth Rollins versus <laughs> John. <laughs> says Seth Rollins versus John Cena uh, for or or uh, maybe I'll be the new Wyatt family member. Uh, Rollins versus Cena for the United States Championship. I think it'll open the show, guys. I could be very wrong on that, but to me, this screams you open the show with mm-hmm. it. Sam, you have Cena by pinfall. I have Cena by submission. Mm-hmm. I think Cena's taking back his title. Yeah, I think, and, and honestly, a, a, with a lot of what you guys were saying too, I hope Cena does get it back because I hope that they bring back the the U.S. Invitational. Uh, I thought it was a great part of Raw that right now that we don't have. So, uh, and now for the big one, Rollins and Sting, with all the variables that we can toss in here. Mm. Sam, you have Seth Rollins winning by pinfall. I do. And you have Sheamus cashing in successfully. Yeah. Well, okay. You just kind of stopped. I didn't know if I was supposed to start talking. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, Seth Rollins really getting buried on Raw. I kind of think he's going to go over. Well, he wasn't buried, but you know what I mean. He lost on Raw. I think he's going <laughs> to. I, I think that means he's just going to. He's going to go over on Sunday. But I think that they're going to make sure that Sheamus comes out and cashes in, and that's going to be where him and Triple H start to see a thing. Because Triple H will come out and be like, say hello to the new Plan B, because... I actually what wrote if, that down What that if Triple H sends send Sheamus out there before the match is actually over and Seth Rollins could have won it, mm-hmm. but Sheamus ruined it for him and Triple H is like, sorry, you know, Deja I thought, vu. You know. Deja vu to WrestleMania 31. Exactly. Okay. Okay, I see where you're going out with that. Um... But in a way, if Rollins isn't in any kind of, you know, unless that's where the Triple H, you know... I have Sting by submission. I actually have... I have Seth Rollins tapping out twice. 
I think it fits perfectly for me. Him tapping twice looks horrible in the eyes of the authority. Then you really have this heat. Like how? Mm -hmm. Not it's not that you lost. You gave up both titles. Mm -hmm. You didn't lose the titles. You gave both of them away by saying, you know, by by tapping out. I think that would be a huge way to start a Seth Rollins uh, authority falling out. Not that you know that. If that's going to happen, we're still thinking that that's, you know, that's on the horizon. Um, but maybe it's not, you know. So I, I have Sting. Now, I do have that they're going to tease a cash-in. I don't think that they're actually going to have a cash-in attempt. Because I would, like Dusty Rhodes would say, Sam, where is the money? Where is the money? Don't you want to draw that out maybe to the next night on Monday Night Raw? I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? It's Sheamus. Who gives a fuck? Because here's the deal. <laughs> and, and, and I'm saying if... <laughs> Jeez. I, it, to me, I think that if Sting wins the championship... You absolutely want him to hold that until the next night because you want those viewer, you want Raw, to, yeah. you want the viewership to go up. You want people to see Sting in a Raw ring with the WWE Championship. Maybe you get a cash in then. Maybe. We'll maybe see. you get a cash in at Night of Champions because then he could lose the title then. Undertaker Lesnar maybe at, at uh, or Hell in a Cell rather, Undertaker Lesnar. And then Sting and Taker at 32. See how everything kind of follows yeah. a pattern. Just saying, guys. Fantasy booking. My mind goes random places sometimes. Uh, so, Sam, what are you are you really looking forward to anything else going on with this card? Any other mystery partners? I mean, Samoa Joe, I heard, was a good one. Solomon Crow, I think, would mm -hmm. be an interesting one from NXT. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, Randy Orton, potentially. Uh, Eric Rowan. Anyone else you got? No, not really. I mean, we pretty much covered everyone other than Daniel Bryan. Randy, you already said Randy Orton. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean uh, to me, and... I don't know. I guess we shall see. We shall see if it's somebody. And every, And the funny part is is that when it comes to a mystery, mystery partner, no matter what, everybody for some reason is going to find a way to be let down. And it's gonna. that's what it's going to be. It could be. They could present it's you. It's going to be like worst case scenarios. Somehow. Well, no. it's Somehow. It, it, well, no, it's funny that no matter what, because there's so much anticipation now, I feel like no matter what they do, people are going to complain. And that's what's unfortunate. So I'm just going to sit back, stick with my Jericho pick, be a mark, and then just run with it. So... Um, Ryan, this beard stain. If, if Rollins wins three matches, uh, everyone in the wrestling rumors.net fantasy football league, good luck this weekend. Uh, guys, we will be back for a, a preview show or a review show tomorrow night. We'll be on again Monday night. We got a lot of stuff coming your way, guys. Um, yeah. Sam, plug some of our great, uh, all the great work we do at wrestling rumors.net. Yeah, check us out on Facebook, the YouTube page, uh, the Twitter page, basically every single outlet. And we actually have a Wrestling Rumors app that you can download on your phone. So that way you can watch all the videos, get all the wrestling articles right there in a little app on your phone. Yeah, that's why I, I mean, when I said on, on on fan feedback, I really don't. I just use our app and read what we write, yeah. guys. I don't, I don't really like to dip too much in because I don't like... I like to sit back and enjoy it as much as you guys. And that's why, and that's why I, I don't really read as much in. And it's funny, someone actually said we know you have insiders one time. We don't have any insiders. No. I, I wish we had insiders. Trust me. Uh, we wouldn't be doing this in front of a wall. Uh, no. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoy Night of Champions. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please, everything Sam said, like, subscribe. Everything WrestlingRumors.net. Follow her on Twitter at LadyNexus13. Follow me at AdamDaily13. Guys, thank you no matter where you're at in the world. Thank you for spending your time with us. We will see you after NOC. Peace.